foliar application and an ins probably the most severe uh, visual difference in a response to no response I've ever seen. If you can see behind me here, we're going to throw the drone up as well and we're going to fly the drone. I left uh, the foliar off on one 100 foot pass spraying this field. And what's in this hand, my left hand, what's on your right, is the treated. What's in my, did I say that right? Right hand would be on your left view as you're viewing is the untreated which is fascinating because this has severely fewer pods, but is much greener. The treated has a lot more pod retention and higher pod beans per pod, but is further along in its growth process. We had reproductive kelp, which I think played a huge role in this. We did have an insecticide and we have a lot of bug damage here. We had boron, moly, fulvic acid, and zinc uh, were the main ones that we, we ran on this foliar. So, we're gonna throw the drone up. We're gonna do some, obviously, yield tests and we cut this in a couple of weeks, but it's this is an absolutely fascinating trial to see the results visually are backwards of what we would think it probably should be in most applications.